Hey guys, welcome back to Maisel Molly. I am Ash Molly, and today we're going to be reviewing the new Nespresso Peru Organic Pod. <laughs> like comment subscribe share down below show your girl some love you guys can also find me over on instagram at maison molly i'd love to connect with you there as well i do a lot of coffee content lv content some polls really try to get you guys insights so it would be awesome to see you over on instagram also guys, if you guys try anything that I suggest, if you've gotten an espresso machine, if you've tried a pod and you love it, or you've gotten anything that I've suggested, please, please, please on Instagram, tag me, tag Nespresso USA and say Maison Molly made me do it. It would mean the world to me. Let's go visit Peru. Alrighty friends, so as you know, it's Thursday morning, I'm getting ready for work, but I really wanted to talk about this pod um, before I got going. When I heard about this pod launching a couple weeks ago, I was super excited for quite a few reasons. One, your girl is South American. You guys, you guys did that, right? I'm from Guyana, and of course, Peru is in South America, and so I really wanted to try um, this pod as it's a part of, you know, my heritage and my continent. And two, I'm a huge espresso lover. So I love all of the espresso pods. I love Diaboluto. I love Voltesto. Um, I love the double espresso shots. And so, of course, if they're going to launch a uh, um, espresso shot, an espresso pod, I have to get it, right? Hands down. So I ran over to the boutique yesterday when it launched and I picked it up. I got home late from work last night and I'm not gonna lie, I tried when it was like 8.30 because I was so anxious and so excited to try it. And so later we're gonna get into taste and all of that stuff, but for now, let's talk about this guy, right? So Nespresso just launched it. It's a part of the Master's Origin collection. So if you know the Master's Origin, you know it includes other countries like Colombia and Mexico and Cuba, all of those pods that they launch from different countries. They're all a part of Master's Origin. So this is the newest. What's cool about this one though, is that it's Master's Origin Organic. So that's a little bit different. So of course guys, as you can see, this is what the pod looks like. So it's like this beautiful, lime green color and it has origins around it which is really cool and at the back it says espresso peru organic recycle me um that's a part of the whole organic pitch right so it's an espresso pod it's of course 1.35 ounce so it's a single shot um it's an intensity of six so honestly pretty medium um Diavoluto, it's an intensity of 11 and I love that one. So it'll be interesting to try this one out. That's kind of like a lower intensity. Although other ones that I like, like Voltesso is also a low intensity. So six is gonna be pretty good for every day. Um, the aromatic profile is going to be smooth and balanced, fruity coffee, right? So um, when I tried it last night, it did taste pretty fruity. It had a little kick to it, um, but still kind of mild. On the website, it says it even has vegetable notes. So once we try it again today, we're gonna get into all of that. Uh, the aromatic notes for this one, it's toasted sweet cereal fruity. So again, it's supposed to be smooth, sweet, fruity, kind of all the things that I like. Um, Fruity, not so much. I think most of the ones I use are usually just sweet and creamy, but it'll be interesting um, to try this out again and let you guys know what I think. Let's uh, brew this one up and see what we think. Okay, we're gonna put this one on in. Okay guys, so here we have got the shot of the Peru um, espresso, the organic. And um, I learned this on the website um, as a part of tasting, is first you can taste the crema. So the crema is just the layer on the top. It's pretty much just the fat from the coffee that has separated. Yeah, 
yeah, you can definitely taste the acidity to it. And um, you can taste the richness of the coffee. Then from my viewing, my research that I do, you're supposed to taste the actual coffee. it so that the um the espresso gets throughout your palate you can definitely taste the fruitiness of it i'm gonna say i kind of like it hmm. all righty so now i'm just gonna go ahead and add some milk to this and see how we like it overall we're gonna make a cappuccino <laughs> There we go, another cappuccino. There's no sweeteners or anything in it. Let's try it out. I like it. So what I can tell, if you guys have already tried the Voluto, this is a lot lighter um, because the other day I just made a, a cappuccino with the Voluto and there was a real strong, woody, robust taste to it. Definitely not experiencing this with the Peru pod. I will say that the milk brings out the fruitiness of it. Yeah, what's cool about it is that it's not intense at all. It's really light. But you can definitely, definitely taste the fruitiness in it. I don't know about the vegetable part, but definitely taste the fruitiness in it. And I like how light it is. I think if you were to add a little bit of like sugar or syrup to it, it'd be a really nice, like calming drink. Um, because when I was drinking Diabluto, it definitely was really intense, really robust, and gave me that kick. This is a lot more chill. Honestly, I like the cappuccino on its own without um any syrups, but I add just one pump of rose just to see what that experience would be like. And it's nice. It's just really calm, kind of soothing, very light. Um, so I think if you guys don't want anything too intense, um, this would be a good option for you. And if you like a coffee or an espresso shot that's really robust, um, that's gonna give you that kick, Probably not for you, <laughs> but I like this. I probably, I probably wouldn't drink this in the morning time because I need that cake for the morning time, but I'm thinking this would make an excellent latte. And it's funny that I think that now because when I bought this yesterday at the store, the woman that worked for Nespresso, the rep, she said that she loved it as an iced drink. So if you want it as an iced drink to like take to work with you or hang out on a sunny day, what have you, you're just chilling, it's gonna be really nice because it's not intense, it's just kind of calming and mild, right? So let's try it as a latte. Well, we're gonna go ahead and do our milk on the coal setting, right? And then while we're doing that, we're gonna brew our pot. I'm gonna add some ice to this. make it a vanilla latte right so we're gonna be using our Tarani vanilla syrup today I actually have a video on this if you guys haven't seen it go check it out I'll link it above and then a lot of people also ask a lot um, my pod holder that I have I got this one from Amazon and you guys can find it in the description down below as well yeah. let's just do a pump of vanilla just one pump Peru. <laughs> All right, we've got our milk. 
So we're just gonna go ahead and add this to the shot. I do not know what's going on outside, but it's not a sunny day in California. Anyhow, we've got our latte. It looks pretty yum. We're gonna mix this in a little bit and see what we think of it with the new Peru Organic Capsule. For this one, the latte is definitely the way to go. So, tastes awesome with milk. Um, it tastes really nice, chill, chilled. So kind. Of wow. Just one pump of vanilla, guys. This might be my favorite latte combination so far because. I like Dio Voluto again in the morning for those intense drinks, but this is just kind of chill. It's like summer vibes, at home vibes, just hanging out. Living your best carefree life. For this latte, I used one Peru pod, uh, five ounce of 2% milk, and then I used um, one pump of my Tarani Pyramid Syrup. so I really like it I really like it I would really suggest this pod and if I had to suggest a way to make it I would definitely suggest making it iced as a latte so you guys let me know are you guys gonna pick this up I think it's gonna be a hit so yeah I think all the things they said about this is true um, sweet toasted balanced fruity um, it definitely has all of those components Don't let what happened with chocolate fudge happen to you again. Scouts Honor, go pick it up. I like it a lot. I think you'll like it for your iced drinks. And then you guys can let me know what you think. Of course, guys, don't forget, drop it in the comments down below. Let me know, what do you think of this new pod? Is it something that you think that you could enjoy? Are you going to buy it? Let me know. As always, guys, thank you for stopping by me, Zal Molly. It's a pleasure to do these videos for you guys. Um, if you found value from this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, a share. That would help me out so much. Thank you guys for hanging out with me on Maisal Molly, and I'll see you next time.